Hi, Dave Skosig with PR Delaware. Welcome back. My guest today is Joe Schmeiser, Executive Director of the Chamber of Commerce for Greater Milford. Joe, welcome. Thank you for having me today, Dave. Absolutely. Tell me about uh, what you do at the, uh, at the Chamber. Well, as you said, I am the Executive Director. Uh, the list goes on and on, as you can imagine, but mostly uh, supporting the businesses in the community as well as the community itself, making a uh, better quality of life in the Greater Milford area. So a lot goes on in your chamber. We have a lot, a lot going of on. Events. All year long, we have events every month, um, as well as events um, basically quarterly. We have big events. Um, we always partner with uh, local nonprofit organizations to help them as well. Okay, so that you actually give back to the community and above and beyond the services that you provide for your members. Absolutely. What we found is it's very hard for any organization, a nonprofit like the chamber, to find volunteers. Uh -huh. So. We get our, uh, we partner with our nonprofit organizations who bring volunteers, and in turn, we give them money back for helping us volunteer for a particular event that we co-chair with them. Well, that sounds like a great deal. It is a great deal. As a matter of fact, so great. Last year, 2014, we were able to give back over $22,000 into the community back to our nonprofit organizations, our members. How many members do you have? Currently, we have a little over 300, and we are growing about 320. Um, hopefully, we'll get, we're looking to get up around 500, but. Uh, mostly we're interested in the quantity, not the, uh, or the quality, not the quantity. So um, numbers really, as long as we can help people. That's a lot of businesses for, for uh, Milford. Gosh. It is. It is. When you look at the community, about 13,000 people in the greater Milford area, at least Milford, um, then yes, it is, it is a lot of businesses. Or so a, lot of businesses. a lot of interaction, too, is, is another benefit of being a member of the chamber. You've got uh, to be able to, uh, where people can go and meet other businesses and cooperate and work together. Absolutely. That's pretty much the main focus of Chambers of Commerce is to provide networking opportunities for your business to grow, uh, whether it's a networking opportunity like a social, like a mixer we have every month. Um, with our chamber, we have sunrise seminars, so we have one of our members be a guest speaker, and they get to talk with our mem members, and they get to learn about their business, and then they also have an opportunity to network there. All of our events, like you said, the larger events, always networking. Networking is the number one thing. So you, you, you have mixers and such, and uh, do they move around to different locations? They do. Uh, we do mixers at our businesses uh, throughout the Greater Milford area. All you have to do is be a member, and you can host the mixer, and it's open to uh, bring a guest as well so we can grow you can bring somebody with you and networking opportunity you get to the business that hosts the mixer gets to showcase their business to let other members see what they have to offer and we have those once a month throughout the year. I know uh, really thriving uh, areas for for business they always have a very active and involved chamber uh, even though it's it'll be obvious to the people who belong to the chamber tell me some of the benefits of being a, a chamber of commerce member. Sure. One, of course, is the networking, the, the main thing. Also, we have connections with the Small Business Administration, with our local um, city representatives, downtown Milford, Inc., City of Milford, the Parks and Rec Department. Uh, we also work with the Kent County uh, Tourism, Southern Delaware Tourism Offices, Kent County Economic Development, uh, Southern Delaware uh, Economic Development, pretty much all the city, local, uh, county, state, all the government agencies and anybody that could help, again, help grow your business is primarily what we're looking to, for businesses to do. And I know economic development is a, is, is a big ticket item uh, yes. today. Uh, when you, uh, I know you have a lot of events, which I mentioned earlier, but I know a big one I've been to is the Riverwalk. Tell us about that. Sure. It's in September every year. It's Milford's <laughs> largest outdoor annual event. It starts on Friday night where we have what we call Operation Give Back, and that's where we um, honor our military, whether veterans or current military. Uh, we have vendors come out we, and we showcase our vendors. We have a patriotic boat parade where people win. They uh, go down the beautiful Miss Pillion River, which is part of the Riverwalk, which is part of the Riverwalk Festival. Um, then we have live entertainment and we end the evening Friday night with fireworks. Uh, then on Saturday, it's all day. We have everything from Kids Corner, of course, catering to the kids. The Senior Center has events. We have vendors, food vendors. Um, Games. I'm meeting with a couple people um, throughout the next couple months, uh, and they'll be talking about some new things that we're bringing. We have a duck dash. Um, a duck and dash. What, what's that about? That sounds interesting. Oh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, again, dealing with the Miss Pillion River, we sell about 300 ducks, and each duck has a number on it. So you'd buy a duck for, you know, buy a duck for five dollars, and it would have a number. And then we dump them all in the river at a particular time, and they all float down. And whichever ducks come in first, second, and third place, they win a cash prize. And you don't have to be present to win, but it is fun to be there and to watch the ducks when you see 300 ducks going down the Miss Pillion. A lot of people 
watching them, hoping that uh, that their duck uh, wins. Absolutely. <laughs> Every year I say I'm going to put a motor on mine because I, <laughs> I, I haven't won, but you, you know you have to keep playing, and it's a um, it's fun to watch. Really. So, if a business wanted to relocate, to, say to Milford. Uh, how would they contact you to find out uh, how to join the chamber or to find out what's, you know, what's going on in Milford, what kind of businesses there are? They could either stop by, they can call us, of course, or go on the website and shoot us an email. Uh, we have people all the time that call, write, email, stop in, asking just that, either to start a business or to get a relocation package for uh, what we call a visitor's package. Um, as both the News Journal had recently said and Delaware Today, Milford is the next boom town, so more people are looking to move to Milford. We get a lot of people from out of state because it's less expensive to live there, but you're not at the beach area where it is a lot more expensive in, you know, in the state of Delaware. Um, so they can live in Milford and it's a short drive. We have great location everywhere. Plus it's a nice small community and growing, but still, still charming. Tell me what your website is. It'll be on the screen, but t tell us what your website sure, is. Sure. It's www.milfordchamber.com. That's pretty straightforward. It's pretty straightforward. Now there's some other ones that are similar. There's some Milford Chambers in other states, of course, but www.milfordchamber.com. So don't be fooled by the imposters. That's right. All right. That's there's right. only one Delaware greater Milford Chamber. Is there anything else that you'd like to add as we wind down? Uh, just that if you know if somebody is interested in joining the chamber, they can of course call us. The number is the easiest number to remember: 422-3344. And we'd be more than happy to meet with them. Um, we do have members, although it's a Greater Milford area, all over the state. Um, people from Wilmington join our chamber. People from Salisbury, Maryland. Um, wow. Anybody who wants their business to grow and are interested in that community, of course, I'd uh, be willing to talk with them and all of our benefits that we offer. Well, Joe, thank you for a very enlightening discussion. I appreciate you coming on down. I've been with Joe Schmeiser, Executive Director of the Chamber of Commerce for Greater Milford. We'll be right back.